Welcome back to Fast Money. Pot stocks blazing this year. Check out some of the names up more than 50 percent and things could get even hotter for these pot powerhouses. Illinois becoming the 11th state to pass a bill legalizing recreational marijuana use, which would go into effect January 1st, 2020. Let's bring in Charles Bachtel. He's the co-founder and CEO of Cresco Labs, one of the largest multi-state operators in the country, headquartered in Illinois. Charlie, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Um, so what are you doing to gear up for Jan 1, 2020 in terms of your own company? You know, without a doubt, uh, expansion, CapEx, you know, the, the supply that's going to be needed to meet that demand. You're talking about a state that is going from a relatively conservative medical program. We have about 70,000 patients in it currently to the fifth largest state in the country, 13 million people, over 100 million tourists a year that anybody over the age of 21 are going to have access to the program. We think it's a 10 to 20 X um, over the current size of the, uh, the medical market. Um, Illinois is one of the biggest or will be one of the biggest marijuana markets in the country by state. And, and so I'm, I'm thinking of the example of California. Everybody looked to California thinking that's going to be one of the biggest markets in the country. And the tax revenues were really disappointing for the first full year of full legalization in 2018. Um, a big part of that was this thriving black market. And, and a big part of the bull thesis for pot companies and, and pot investors is the notion that you can convert every dollar in the black market to a dollar in the white market and the legal market. Sure. Um, how do you view that in Illinois uh, and, and the rest of the country for that matter in terms of that thesis and, yeah. and where we are in cracking down on the illegal sales? So a great question and, and one of the biggest distinguishing factors between what we saw in California and what we're going to see in Illinois. California sort of put regulations in place for the first time. Right. Uh, Illinois already changed the way that medical cannabis was done. It really created Gen 2 of medical cannabis, which was highly regulated, compliance focused and these limited licenses. So it's a very controlled program, it is a very professional, um, well run program. So we're building on the back of that type of a program. Um, and, you know, the, the legislature did a great job of marrying um, increased opportunity, increased uh, access, uh, re points of sale, um, while at the same time, um, really giving the current operators, the current infrastructure, the opportunity to be first to market. Because um, we have the infrastructure in place. We can flip the switch Jan 1, 2020, as opposed to having to go through an application process and have new people get onboarded and, and get up to speed, which they will. Mm -hmm. But the current infrastructure is there to take care of that from day one. So from an illicit market standpoint, you know, I think we have a great chance of converting a lot of the uh, incumbent illicit market because uh, Illinois doesn't have its own inherent illicit market. That's all imported from out of state. So as soon as we get our infrastructure and our, our adult use program launched, we give uh, uh, we give residents in Illinois a great opportunity so to participate. Unlike in California, for instance, where they actually yeah, grow absolutely. the product there in Illinois, it'll be easier to sort of to get rid of that illicit market. You're a multi-state operator, though. Um, where are you facing some challenges? Where do you see the most opportunity? Uh, in, in various states? Yeah, so our thesis really lies in, we, we, we look at the regulatory structure first and foremost. We like regulation, we like there being obligations on the operators, we like controls in place, um, and then we look for big populations. So, you know, of our 11 state footprint, seven of the 10 most populated states in the U.S., and then the other four have very, you know, high strategic value too. Nevada with Las Vegas, right. Massachusetts with adult use. Is New use. York going to happen? Yeah, you know, New York, New York will. And that's one of the great things about uh, Illinois pulling this off. First state to ever uh, pass a robust uh, regulated adult use cannabis program through the legislature. And so I know that the, the conversations in Albany and likewise in New Jersey lately have been, can you do this? Right. Or does this need to be a ballot initiative? Illinois has shown them you could do this through the legislature. Charlie, great to have you with us. Thank you. Come back soon. Thank Charlie you Bactel of Cresco. Grasso, you've been trading this space. So Kronos uh, yesterday had a headline that uh, B of A upgraded it on its potential in CBD. So if you look at it, it's up over 50 percent. Uh, Char Charles' stock is up over 50 percent as well. You have to buy the top best in breed names. You have to buy the large cap much. names Appreciate here. It. They're the ones that are going to gobble up all the smaller names. So just stick, instead of sticking with one name, Buy a couple of these names. Make your own um, uh, CBD ETF or pot or cannabis ETF.